Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, I'm pretty excited because before me, I have the new OMP Hobby M2 Evo and M1 Evo. Now the M1 is not yet launched to the public as of the recording of this video. The date of this video is right here. So when you're watching this video, check the links below and maybe you'll see it's available. So in this video, I'm gonna focus more on the M2 than on the M1. But let me tell you right now, a few years ago, the M2 and the M1 came out. They weren't the Evo line. This is the new Evo line and they were phenomenal and they were the best helicopters money could buy. If you watch any review on YouTube, you will see they were the best. So you know darn well that the M1 Evo when it is launched is gonna be amazing and everybody's gonna want it and it's gonna be like the best thing ever. But for now, I wanna tell you that the M2, this one here on the bottom, it is so phenomenal. You can get it like a 10 minute flight time out of this thing if you're a beginner like me. If you're a pro and you want to do 3D, both of these helicopters do 3D. But I don't mean they're like, you know, like basic 3D. These are like professional helicopters. And the price for them is not that bad. It's actually really decent. And they're almost all metal construction. You know, the swash plate, everything else, all the linkages, all metal. There's next to no plastic on these things. All direct drive systems, really good upgraded motors, all brushless. They are like the helicopter's cream of the crop. If there is any helicopter on the planet that people would buy the most of, it's these ones here. And since this is the new Evo line, they're even better, better construction, better tuning, better flight characteristics, everything. And they even sell it in a ready to fly version. They sent me this. So let me explain this. This is a Zorro. A Zorro is made by Radio Master. It is a radio that is very popular and is used very much in the RC hobby. I have done many reviews on this. I have this radio, but if you buy the ready to fly version of either model, this one or the bottom one, as far as I know, you can get it with the Zorro. And the Zorro is already pre-programmed with the specifications and the model of both of these helicopters in it. So in my Zorro, everything's there. All I had to do is bind the radio. The model's already there. Just go to the bind section, hit bind, hit the bind button on the helicopter, and they would bind together, and then you go fly. It's that simple. Let me just tell you right now that the receiver in the bottom one is an OMP Hobby receiver. So in here, when you go to bind, select OMP Hobby. And the little one, the M1 Evo, it's a Futaba receiver. So when you go in your radio, select Futaba. Next thing I wanna tell you is OMP Hobby did send me these three weeks ago, and I should have made a video three weeks ago, except I went on vacation and didn't have time, so you're seeing the video now. But all the video that you're gonna see of flights with these here models was all shot three weeks ago. Now, one of the cool things with both of these is that they both come with a very nice foam case. So when I take these to the field, I have these foam cases and just open it up and check that out. Hopefully this camera can pick it up. I'll zoom right in and look at that. You take it to the field and it looks like that. Everything's there. I've got the batteries in here. I've got the helicopter, everything I need. The only other thing I need is the radio. All right, now you're asking, can I see the M2? Sure, let me open that up. There we go with the M2 and the M1 side by side. They both come in these really nice carry cases that you would take with you to the field when you're going to go fly. I don't know too many other helicopter manufacturers that provide that. This is really good. You don't have your helicopter flopping around in your car when you're going to the field and all the wires and the batteries. They're all in here. Everything you need is in here as well as tools in case you have to adjust anything. All right, I'm just gonna pull the batteries out of each so I can show you what you get for batteries. So if you get the M1, the M1 Evo, it comes with this tiny little two cell, 7.4, 350 milliamp power, 50 C battery. And if you get the M2 Evo, it comes with a 750 milliamp hour three cell LiPo battery at 120 C. And this will give you 10 minutes of flight time. I can't remember what the flight time is on the M1, but I think it's over five minutes with this little thing, maybe six or seven minutes. I'm not sure. Now, when I give you the flight times, that's for somebody like me who flies, you know, just doing figure eights and circles. If you're doing 3D, you're gonna chop that flight time down to like, you know, half or even more because you use a lot of power when you do 3D. Now, as I put these boxes back together, how about I show you the flight footage from the M2? I'll show you the flight footage from the M1 at a later date, so check this out. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. There's a, a DJI Mini 3 circling us. Over here we have Jack, who knows how to fly helicopters, and I've brought him out today to help me out flying this Helicopter here, which is the OMP Hobby Evo M2 3D, which is a way beyond my skill set. So he's gonna check it out and try it out here. He's just starting it up now. As you can see, we're coming over to it and uh, we're gonna see how well he does. And I'm sure it's gonna be phenomenal. And I should also mention that OMP Hobby 
uh, sent me this here Zorro radio, which I thought was pretty impressive. This thing's pretty cool that it came with the actual helicopters. And uh, this is a super nice radio. I've reviewed it many times for FPV drones. So having this come with the helicopters is nice because it has voice and a lot of configuration. And here we go, Jack, I'll shut up and you fly. Okay, I'm getting back. Jack's taking off. Are you in stability mode, I Jack? Know. Yes. I'm okay. He's just... Mode. So now we're going to go up into idle one. Nice. Oh, there we go. A little faster in idle one. Looks awesome in the air. And I just want to say the following. Jack is a trooper because he is a guy that doesn't like flying other people's stuff, especially if it's new in case he destroys it. But I told him, what the heck? You know what? I've got his credit card too. So here we go. I'm going to try to get close to it uh, with my camera. So Jack, if I walk around, uh, please just keep it above my head. Okay, hold her right there. All right. I'll let you go to it. There we go. There we go. I've got an acro. Whoa, he's doing some cool stuff already. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> my mini three i know i know the mini three's there all right i got the mini three controller <laughs> let's just move this drone out farther all right this is going to come around and it should get jack and the helicopter in view as it comes around here there we go pretty awesome so that's your only obstacle jack is just watch out for that little baby uh, drone it, the, the drone is close to you so you should be okay oh things i do to jack <laughs> I'm gonna stress him out for the rest of the day. Super responsive? Absolutely. And the color, you said you could see it nicely? Oh, beautiful, look at that. So, try a little flip. Okay. Whoa, nice. Oh. Okay, bring her down for landing, I'm coming back. Can he make it to the landing pad? He's coming down. There we go. Final, Final thoughts. Final thoughts, I want one. This yeah. is amazing. It's a good size. The color is really... It's, it's I know, they did a great job with the colors. And yeah. it comes in various colors. I haven't even really I like looked at one. it. It's just the way it's it's built. It's just... And the I technology a, with it right now is just incredible. I know, I know. Compared to the old days of helicopters, yeah. this thing here is like buttery smooth. When you were flying it, it looked awesome. Yeah. yeah. And I, I have it. a surprise for you. What's you it? know they make a smaller version? No way! I'm serious! I think it's over here. Let's go check it out. Can you open this box up? Is it in this one? Whoa! Whoa look at, look that. at that. that! That's the M1! And it does exactly the same thing. It's 3D and it costs much less and you get the same type of flight performance but in a smaller package. Is that wow. sweet or what? Can't wait to try that one. Next we have Jedi Steve who loves helicopters. He saw Jack flying this thing and he came running over and he's about to fly it now. And uh, this is going to be his first impressions, first everything. Yes. So he's checking it out. Now Jack's first impression was he wants one and he's pretty uh, much running surprise. to the website to get one. <laughs> so uh, what do you think so far looking at it? Yeah, it's beautiful bird. I okay. love the colors on it. The quality seems to be very, very nice. Now you have the ghoul sky, so yeah. uh, does it look kind of similar? Well, kind of similar. It looks like about the same size. Uh, I'm curious to see how uh, similar it flies. I always stand behind the pilot, the pilot in case <laughs> something goes wrong because they make an excellent blockage. Yes. Oh, oh that's bad stuff. if you have not watched my review <laughs> of the goose guy, Steve destroyed my landing pad. That looks like a brand new pad. <laughs> Jacques, watch out because Steve's about to take off. All right. There you go. All right, I'll let you fly it a bit and get used to it before I ask you any questions. Very, very stable, yes. Yeah, so it'd be perfect for a pilot like yeah. me, since it's so yeah. stable. In stability keeps, mode. Keeps its altitude perfectly. So I'll bring it, it over here and then we'll go uh, aerobatic. There we, go. there we go. Mavic is pretty close to you, so we shouldn't have an issue. It's going between. Now you have an issue. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the Mavic. Giving there's you the good Mavic. footage here, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got these <laughs> helicopters buzzing between us and the drone. All right, let's try mode two. Okay. And there's a plane. Every, oh, here we go with congestion happening already. You're in mode number two? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go stand underneath the helicopter out there okay. as you do your uh, maneuvers. I'm 
upside down. There he goes. Doing a loop. He's got high head speed. He's way up there and there he goes. Whoa, that was fast coming down. All right, come on back for a landing. Bring the head speed down. There we go, I'm gonna follow it back. Oh, look at that. No destruction on the landing pad. Nicely done. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you, I thank you, my viewers thank you. All right, Steve, your thoughts, you flew it. Beautiful bird, uh, flies very nicely. Um, the stability mode is one of the best I've seen. It's super, super solid. So for learning, I guess it'd be a good ship. But yeah, as soon as you turn on the acrobatic uh, mode, very nice, uh, very controllable. I'd probably put the rates a little higher for my taste, but otherwise very, very nice. And the canopy is beautiful, very easy to see. Great, and uh, like I told Jack in the, when Jack flew it, uh, a surprise for you. You know they make this in a smaller version? Oh, that'd be nice to yeah. see. Yeah, so check out the little box down there. Oh, ho, ho. Like, check out this little box. <laughs> I'd be surprised. Can I open it? Can I open it? You can open it. It's a Christmas gift. Oh, there we go. Nice. So that's the M1, and uh, it does exactly the same, except it costs less, and it's much smaller and nice. probably a little bit better for beginners but it is a 3d Purple. helicopter yeah, yeah. Nice. and it flies on a 2s battery vice the 3s you were nice. flying on so we got a test coming up captain yes now the next thing i want to show you is what comes in the box of the m1 and the m2 even though the m1 evo is not yet released i'll show you what comes in the box i think i'm allowed to so uh <laughs> watch this i'm going to show you the m2 and the m1 unboxing really quick super fast here you go check this out here we have the M1 and the M2 EVO. We're gonna start with the M1. It comes in four colors, white, yellow, orange, and red. First thing you'll notice about the M1 is that for a very small helicopter with a direct drive brushless motor, it's super well designed. The 290 millimeter diameter blades have a very interesting design. The rotor head has a two bearing feature for the attachment of the blades. With the canopy removed, you can see the all metal construction. I love the simplicity of how the tail boom connects with a nice metal attachment. Here we can see the main rotor direct drive motor. The flight controller is totally adjustable with the touch of a few buttons. If your radio supports Futaba SFHSS protocol, then you can connect directly, you can bind directly. If not, it does also support SBUS DSM, DSM-X if you have the appropriate receivers connected. You'll notice that the tail boom and the tail rotor are very nicely constructed. Total weight of the M1 EVO is 103 grams. When you add the battery, it's 124 grams. Other items included in the box would be a set of tools, spare parts, the flight controller manual, batteries, one, two, or three, depending on your order. And now let's take a look at the M2 Evo. It comes in four colors, white, yellow, orange, and red. Blade length on the M2 is 190 millimeters and the rotor diameter is 434 millimeters. Just like the M1, the M2 is all metal construction with a bit of carbon fiber and next to no plastic. Here we can see the tail rotor, which is a very nice design. With the canopy removed, you can see how well the M2 is constructed. Look at all the metal in the top portion for the swash plate, for the rotor head, everything. The frame is all carbon fiber and as you get to the bottom, you can see the massive direct drive brushless motor. Just like on the M1, I really like how they attach the tail boom to the main body. It makes it easy to remove, easy to adjust. To connect your radio to the M2 Evo, just select OMP Hobby as the receiver protocol. If desired, you can also install an SBUS receiver or DSMX or DSM. This is a close up of the rotor head so you can see the all metal construction. Weight of the M2 Evo is 272 grams, but if you install the battery, well, then you're going up to 337 grams. Please note that my Evo came with some extra goodies such as the blades, the tail rotors, a replacement main shaft set, flight controller manual and three batteries. If you order the ready to fly kit with the Radio Master Zorro, this is the box it comes in and you're all set to fly. Welcome to HTX. All right, so this brings me to the end of the video. Final thoughts on these helicopters. Well, once again, if they just came on the market and they were brand new, in other words, they had no lineage, like there was no M1 or M2 in the past, then I would sit here and talk for hours and tell you how great they are. But since they are an upgraded version of the already existing M1 and M2, in other words, the M1 and M2 helicopters are out, they've been out for years, and they are amazing. Uh, since they're an upgraded version of those, well then, I don't have to sit here and tell you how great they are, they are great. They're like greater than those previous ones. And also, the fact that you can get the ready to fly kit with the Zorro controller already programmed with the models in, and sound too. Flight mode one. Flight mode two. Flight mode one. Normal mode on. 
Acro mode on. Stable mode. Engine off. You'll always know what you're doing because Engine everything off. is everything is there. When you flick the switches, it tells you whatever you need to know without looking at the big screen that's right here to tell you what you need to know when you're flying. So with everything seen in this video and everything said in this video, if you can afford these, and let me tell you, they're not very expensive for what you get. This is the best of the best of the best when it comes to helicopters for the price. Well, then you're going to be one happy camper if you get either of these models so for now i just say links are below go check it out see the price my son is going out what is it nighttime already and i'll catch you in a future review with many more products so if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up catch you in the future then bye